Hello, thank you for joining me in our product demo video. In this video, I will demonstrate how to send sensor data using our gateway to the dashboard created in Freeport. This can be achieved in three easy steps. Step 1 is to connect the sensors to the gateway. Step 2 is to configure the gateway. And finally, step 3 is to create the dashboard in Freeboard and start observing your data. So let us get started with step 1 that is sensor connections. In my demo, I am using a temperature sensor connected to the analog input channel 2 and a proximity sensor connected to the digital input channel 3 of the gateway. So this is the temperature sensor connected to the second analog input and here is the proximity sensor connected to the third digital input of the gateway. The sensors are powered by an external power supply and the gateway itself is powered by its own power adapter. I have already powered up the gateway and allowed it to get connected to internet. Let us now move on to step 2 that is configuring the gateway. This can be done using our free web configuration portal. You can access this portal by typing this link in your browser. I already have an account created in this portal. So let me log in using my credentials. So this is how it opens up. So you can see my device is already listed in the device list. If not, you can add your device using the add new device section. Next, we need to select the device we wish to configure. So let me click on my device. Now we click on the connect button to get connected to our gateway device. You can see I am now connected to my gateway as indicated in the status bar. Let us now start making our configurations. So I select Freeboard as the IoT platform. And as I select, you can see the Freeboard attributes are automatically populated in the platform section. We need to give a thing name. So let me select the name as tangent. We need to remember this thing name because we need to enter the same name in Freeboard when we create our dashboard. And I want my gateway to send the sensor data every 10 minutes to the dashboard. So let me select 10 minutes as the data transmit rate. We move to the wired endpoints page. In that we go to the analog inputs tab. Here I enable the second analog input because that is where I have connected my temperature sensor. I need to give, give a name to the uh, sensor. So let me name it as ambient temp. We also need to enter a scale factor and an offset. In my case, since I am using LM35 temperature sensor, I know the scale factor is 0 0.5 and the offset is 0. We now proceed to the digital inputs tab and enable the third digital input because that is where I have connected the proximity sensor. And I need to give a name, so let me name the sensor as door lock and enter 1 and 0 as the values reported by this sensor. Now we are ready with the configurations. Now click on the send button to send these configurations to the gateway device. So you can see my gateway is now successfully configured as indicated in the status bar. We are done with configuring the device. Let us now move on to step 3 that is creating dashboard in Freeboard. For this we need to log into the Freeboard portal. This is the link to access the Freeboard portal. I already have an account in Freeboard so let me log in using my credentials. So this is how it appears when you log into Freeboard. Let us now start creating our new dashboard. I will give the name for our dashboard as IoT Gateway Demo. We also need to provide a data source for our dashboard. So let me select duit.io as the data source and call it as again IoT Gateway Demo. In the thing name attribute of the data source, we need to provide the same thing name that we entered while configuring the gateway in our web configuration portal. If you remember, I had mentioned the thing name as tangent in the platform section of the web configuration portal. So I enter the same name tangent here and save the data source. We need a widget to display the temperature value reported by gateway. So let me add a widget of type gauge and let me call the gauge as temperature sense. In the value attribute of this gauge widget, we need to give the same name that we gave for the temperature sensor in the web configuration portal. 
if you remember i had called the analog input channel to as ambient temp while configuring the gateway so i give the same name and spelling we can also give min and max values for this gauge widget and also units i will mention the units as degree centigrade and save the widget i also need a second widget to display the value reported by the proximity sensor so i add a second widget of type led indicator light i'll call my led as door lock in the value attribute of led widget again i need to give the same name that i gave for the proximity sensor while configuring the gateway in the web configuration portal if you remember i had called my proximity sensor as door lock so i give the same name and spelling here in the value attribute i want the label to be displayed as locked when my led turns on and i want that label to change to unlocked when my led turns off so i give these as text attributes and save the second widget we have successfully created our dashboard also completed all the steps needed and hence we are now ready to start observing our sensor data in this dashboard for this we just need to restart the gateway and power on the sensors so let me restart the gateway and power on the sensors we now need to wait for the gateway to start reporting the data to the dashboard right now the room temperature in my place is around 32 degrees so i expect the same temperature to be reported so you can see the temperature reported is 31.5 degrees let me move the proximity sensor close to a metallic object and observe the led so led turns to on state let me again move the proximity sensor back away from the metallic object and let us notice the led led should now turn back to off state so the led again turned back to off state as the proximity sensor reports a low value instead of freeboard you can choose our tangent iot platform or your own custom platform for visualizing the sensor data so this is how simple it is to send any sensor data to the cloud using our product vgate iot gateway thanks for watching